We will be replacing our current Salem sump pumps with a multifunctional port Salem due to back orders. Here's the training video. Your Salem will come in a new package with a multifunctional port and the tubing. There is a large end and a small end. In order to connect them, you put the large end and the small end in. Press firmly, no twisting is necessary. This is the front, this is the back. There is two ears that toggle between the um, two ports on top, which is a suction port and a medication or feeding port. This port has a feeding on end fit connection for feeding and medications. When the ears are in the middle, that is the neutral location, that means everything is closed. There is a locking device here, push down, it locks the ears. If it's up, you can toggle between the two. In order to connect your suc suction, you will place the suction tubing here, and then you will turn it on, make sure it's unlocked, turn it on, and if you want to look at the back, there will be an arrow pointing to the one that's open. You can then lock that in place while you are suctioning. To turn it off, unlock, bring back to neutral with them in, the, in a level position, and disconnect your su suction tubing. You then, in order to feed, need um, with the current connection we do not have the end fit connection syringes in all areas so if you do not have an end fit connection syringe and you have a tumi syringe you will need this adapter the adapter fits on the port here it spins 180 degrees to tighten and you will then place this in the on position lock down and again you can lock it and the arrow is now to the feeding medication side place your syringe in and deliver your medication or feeding through a syringe or if necessary through the feeding tube end kangaroo this some of the kangaroo tubing we have also already has the king the end fit end you may remove this white tip, discard it, and connect to your unfit connection. Again, make sure that your port is on and in a locked position. In order to withdraw, take disconnect and move back to your central location, which is also considered clamped, and lock in that position, and these will not move. The anti-reflux valve is now located in the center. You can add saline or air through this port, 10 or 20 cc's max. That concludes its training.